everybody. Um, I am here with seniors at the College of St. Rose, and we are disappointed, devastated, sad, mad, and just really confused about what happened um, pertaining to the coronavirus in our school, College of St. Rose, being shut down. But um, we just came here to one, just encourage the seniors. Like, we all are home. We all are disappointed, but we're still graduating and we still made it, you know? So that is something to look forward to. And also for the lower class now, like this is not the end for you, you know? So take what happened and I don't know, pick up a job, enjoy time with your family, and just look forward to next semester. Um, anybody else? Um, I think you guys should take this as a moment to reflect on what you wanna do. And honestly, decide if school is for you or isn't for you because this is a very large inconvenience to everyone. So taking this time to figure out what you want to do will save you from, God forbid, something like this happens again and wasting money. And I think for the people that are coming back, if you decide that that's something you want to do, get involved in clubs. You see how small our campus is. You see everything we've done. I feel like this class specifically, class 2020, we set the tone for a lot of big things. And you guys should just come back and keep the same momentum. And don't be sad, even though it's very hard to not be sad, because we're all sad, but don't be sad. And just have safe fun. <laughs> I feel like that's why a lot of us are devastated, because like we've been here, most of us, for four years, and, you know, and we worked so hard to get to this point. And for us to have our life change in 48 hours, like, it is, it's really, it's a lot, you know, so. My message to the um, undergraduates that's like uh, under us, I would say make the best of your college experience mm -hmm. because take it from us, you never know when it's over. Mm -hmm. So make the best out of the time that you're on this time. And to my fellow seniors, I love y'all, even though I don't know all of you. <laughs> 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 and, like, and like, if you guys want to cry, we can cry together because this is really sad. And just, this is a hard time because I know a lot of people, like myself specifically, are struggling with having to adult so fast. So just take it one day at a time. Don't feel like you have to rush to figure out what you want to do. Even though we are graduating in a month and a half, it feels like we kind of have to graduate now and figure it out. So just like keep a clear headspace. Don't feel like you have to figure everything out immediately because it'll get real clouded in there real fast and you'll feel like you're spiraling and don't spiral. You worked really hard to get to this point. We all have. And you're not alone through this. We're all here to support each other. Mm -hmm. I wanted to just touch on the fact that like I feel like a lot of us are taking everything that's going on around us like Either some of us are taking it too lightly or some of us are like panicking. Mm -hmm. We need to be alert. We need to make sure we're staying informed. We need to make sure we're reading and like staying up to date with the news because there's a lot of things coming out like people finding cures and stuff like that. We need to just make sure that we're being on top of everything because at the end of the day, once we leave here, this is like the real world. College can sometimes feel like a bubble that we're in, mm -hmm. but like, for some of us who are leaving, they come back like, we need to stay hydrated, we need to stay healthy, we need to take a lot of vitamins, just try to be the best you in this time, and take this time to work on yourself, like, like Kat said, reflect on everything that you're trying to do in the future, and make sure that this is for you, and not only that, but make sure you're doing what you need to do so you're equipped for maybe this time to come back or not, but for next semester. For people that live in situations, um, or come from situations that may be uncomfortable or not a safe environment, um, just stay encouraged. You know, I know how sometimes people like this is our home. You know, so mm -hmm. going back home, kind of sometimes for some people doesn't feel like home. But just stay encouraged. You know, and nothing is permanent. That taught me that this situation taught me that nothing is permanent. And just be present in the moment. I would say that the College of St. Rose was put into a tough situation with this in general. With our semester starting early, we had an earlier spring break than most of the schools surrounding us, and the 
fall break didn't really happen until our spring break had already started. So they didn't really know what to do with bringing us back was probably their viable option because they didn't know what was going to happen in the United States first. So I wouldn't blame too much on the administration because that was a stressful situation that a lot of them would go through on deciding what is going to happen further going on and just kind of reminisce on the fact that the United States is going to take some action for this and help us and that we have good health care around us, for most of us at least, and to just take care of ourselves. And if you don't feel good, to rest and stay away from other people, especially high-risk people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seniors hugging, kiss your friends goodbye. Oh, okay. yeah. And can we please have a senior night? Yeah, can we please, please all come together. <laughs>